Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at five ways or five tips to help save the earth. If you haven't been living under a rock, you know that people have been trying their best to, to help save the earth. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you five, five ways or tips to help save the earth. Now let's begin. It's one dollar you can help save the earth and you might be asking how can I do that you can help by donating one dollar or more to team trees team trees is a collaborative fundraiser that wanted to get 20 million trees planted before the end of 2020 and you might be asking what do I have to do with this team trees when you donate one dollar a tree is planted and the tree takes carbon dioxide for, from the air. And we all know what carbon dioxide does, but I'm just giving you a brief description. The carbon dioxide absorbs the sun's energy, making the earth hotter. And so when trees inhale carbon dioxide, they exhale oxygen so that we can have more oxygen to breathe and less carbon dioxide in the air. All trees are planted that means there will be less carbon dioxide and less carbon monoxide in the in the air which means reduced global warming i'm not the only youtuber talking about team trees and team seas other youtubers like marcus brownlee ali abdal mark robber and even mr mr beast are talking about teams team seas and team trees so to get to the website, the links are in the description below. If you don't want to plant a tree or, or you just don't feel like doing it, you can just plant a flower or some vegetables. Now we're moving on to the next way to help save the earth. One more way you can help save the earth is by liking and subscribing to this video. Oh guys, I'm just kidding, but actually technically, if this video goes viral, that means YouTube will make this video more f frequently seen when people search up how to save the earth. So, technically, yes. But actually, the real third way to save the earth is by conserving water. Why should you conserve water? You should conserve water because it helps reduce the energy you use for, for your water to get heated, pumped, and filtered to you. So if you don't need too much water, you don't, don't use too much water. For example, if you're brushing your teeth, if you're, if you're done using the water, don't keep it on. Just turn it off. And what does this have to do with you? What it has to do with you is that is because the water from oceans, wetlands, and other water supply will be reduced. And if you conserve water, There'll be enough water for water voles, otters, fishes, and herons to live comfortably. Another way to help the earth is to donate a, a dollar or more to Team Seas. Team Seas is just like Team Trees, and it is a collaborative fundraiser that wants to get 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean, even though they've They've collected about 32 million pounds of trash out of the ocean. They still want to get more out of the ocean. But instead of just one piece of trash out of the ocean for one dollar, one pound of trash is out of the ocean. And you might be wondering, what does this have to do with me? It's one, the ecosystem will be bound because let's say if a kind of fish eats the trash and the spe and the species goes extinct, making the food chain unbalanced. And and if other animals in the food web with that specific career fish, the those other sea animals may go extinct too. The second to last point the second to last way to help save the earth 
the herb that we're talking about in this video is by biking more. Biking more is good because you don't you don't have to buy an electric car because they're very expensive. And two, you you don't they don't release greenhouse gases like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methane, and other harmful greenhouse gases into the air. An advantage of, of riding a bike is that you do get exercise even though you're getting from point A to point B. And the last but not least point is the biggest point on the list is to cut off as many emissions as possible. Some emissions are necessary but other emissions are not necessary and other things to do that contribute to, to releasing greenhouse gases into the air can be reduced or even banned. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit this the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. The links to Team Seeds and Team Trees are in the description below. And now, actually, we're ending this video for good. See you in our next video, and actually, bye.